Every time a patient walks into a hospital, they have a 1 in 20 chance of getting an infection. And of those, 100,000 people die every year because of that infection. And at Veritas Medical, what we've done is we've solved this problem. Hi, my name is Nate Rhodes, and this is James Allen. And we're two of the owners and inventors at Veritas Medical. And our company has developed an innovative solution to solve infections in catheters. And we call this the light line catheter. First, I want to introduce you to our team. We're comprised of biomedical and electrical engineering students at the University of Utah, as well as student doctors. And together, we have over 20 years combined of industry and research experience. We're also backed by a great supporting staff of physicians and researchers who have helped really guide us every step of the way. Firstly, I'd like to introduce you to one of our best friends, Jeff, and one of the reasons why we're doing this. At 25, Jeff was diagnosed with chronic kidney failure and nearly killed him. Uh, he developed a catheter infection that almost took his life. And it was after this we decided it never should happen to anyone ever again. So a catheter is a very basic medical device. They're used all the time in chemotherapy, dialysis. Jeff has to use one every day to even be able to go to the bathroom. The two markets which we've been able to identify in working with our stakeholders were the venous and the urinary catheter markets. So catheters that go into the bloodstream and also into the urinary tract. The two markets, looking at them, they have a combined total of about 350 million catheters used every year at a 5 to 10 percent infection rate. And this translates to $11 billion spent. It's a huge pain point. And again, 100,000 deaths every year. So we sat down with researchers and hospital administration, doctors, patients, nurses, all of our stakeholders, and said, what are you looking for in a new treatment? What are, what are your pain points? What do you see? And we were able to identify a lot of very great pain points. Now, we initially thought that our patients or, and our doctors were going to be our customers. And we quickly realized that while they are a very important part of the overall equation, that they're not our actual customers. We had to pivot, we had to change course and not direct things at, the, uh, at our patients and doctors. We learned that uh, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid are usually the payers. They're usually the customers in a medical device uh, business canvas. But in 2009, there was a landmark decision that they decided they would no longer reimburse hospitals when a patient got infected. So they will no longer be our customers. Instead, hospitals are now required to spend that $11 billion um, to pay all of these, these infection costs out of their own pocket. So we were able to validate this with our hospitals, and now we're able to establish who our real customers were. So kind of looking at our overall timeline, we were able to uh, validate this, uh, who our customer segment was. It took us no money and about two weeks to do. We then started looking at the market leaders, who they were, what they were doing specifically. In each one of the venous and urinary catheter markets, there's about two to three major players. In each one of the, we, we wanted to spe specifically look at what they were doing. Um, in each case, they'd use antibacterial coatings on their catheters and silver impregnated. So we performed huge peer-reviewed literature searches and prior art searches to really get a good idea of what they were doing. We thought that because they were the market leaders, they, of course, must know what they're doing. We assumed that that's how it was, and so we looked into this really heavily. This took us about 200 hours of complete research and about zero dollars. But because they had no efficacy long term, we had to pivot again and realize we needed something new that hadn't been done. What they were doing wasn't working. One thing that had kind of worked and slightly reduced the infections was increasing the number of nursing hours. They changed dressings more often. They're constantly monitoring and testing these catheters. But in, an increase in nursing hours leads to a huge increase in costs for those hours. It's a huge problem. So we went back to the stakeholders. We went back and interviewed them to see what kind of technologies, what things they were looking for in evaluating new products. And what we saw was really interesting. Doctors really wanted something that was efficacious, but also really easy to use. Patients wanted kind of a balance between cost and also efficacy. Our, uh, no, not surprisingly, our nurses who would actually use these catheters really wanted something that was easy to use, but also worked. And of course, the payers, the person who's actually going to front the bill for this, really wanted something that could take care of the cost and also showed good results. So we translated all of these into our value proposition. We knew it had to save money, it had to be easy to use, and it had to work. We initially looked at ultraviolet light. It's shown that great uh, ability to kill bacteria. They use it all the time in other applications. But it does have an inherent risk. It does cause harm to, to patients, to humans. So we went back to these stakeholders, and we interviewed them again, and we said, Based on these features, in addition to safety, how do you see the, how, do, how, do you, how would you evaluate a new risk? And what we found was astounding. We saw that safety was their number one concern overall. So we had to pivot again at this point and add safety back to our value proposition. It now has to be the key component of our total value proposition. 
So yeah, as we said, that the safety is our biggest thing, as we found out from our validation. So we, we had to pivot, we had to use something other than UV, because we knew that the UV would cause harm to our patients. So we went back, we did the research, we looked at other options, what other ways we could do this. And it turns out that there are many different wavelengths of visible light that when put at the correct intensity will actually selectively kill bacteria without causing any harm to human cells. And this was a huge discovery. So what we did, we built our proof of concept based on that idea. Proof of concept, we, the prototype, it cost us $2,000 to get to create, and it, we took, uh, built it over the course of six months. And this is it. So it works by attaching a specialized sterilizing source to our catheter, and it shines the light down the length of the catheter and disinfects tip to tip, inside and out. Our next generation prototype will seamlessly integrate with what clinicians are already doing, and it will offer constant cons uh, consistent sterilization throughout the entire time that the catheter is in the body, which clinicians love the idea of. So as with any good other good idea, we knew that we had to, to protect our intellectual property. So we filed a provisional patent back in 2012, and we filed our, uh, our utility patent in 2013, which was published uh, later that year in October. That patent, uh, we drafted it and got it ready and submitted it. It took 12 months, and it cost us $3,000. So the next thing, we had this proof of concept device. We had to get it into the lab. We had to test it. We had to verify that it was working and that it does what we believe it does, and it does. We showed that in our in vitro testing that we could kill 96% of bacteria with a single, uh, single treatment with our device. That laboratory testing that cost us $5,000, which took place over the course of six months, and it verified that we have created a device that can selectively kill the bacteria off of these, off of these catheters. So, we went back and we looked at our competitors and we compared what we had versus what they have and we blew them out of the water. We, we've shown our 96% kill rate and we're the only ones that offer a, a, a constant long-term sterilization plan for killing this bacteria. So we went to the hospitals. We went back to our, our purchasers, our payers at the hospitals, and we asked them, what would you expect to pay for this device? And what we found was, was excellent. So for cost of goods, to, to, to build a kit, um, our competitors, it cost them about $12 per kit. They charge, about, they cost, they charge the hospitals $75 for these kits, but there's a hidden cost associated with it. The additional cost to uh, fight infections puts the cost of each catheter placed at over $200 per catheter. We, using a, val uh, a value-based pricing model, we want to sell our kits for $120, which we know that the hospitals will be willing to pay because we know our device works. And as you can see, it, it, uh, it covers all of um, the majority of the, the people that surveyed and what they would, they would expect to pay for it. So with that, we validated our pricing model. And we hypothesized that the next steps that we needed to take was we needed to get a, a small sales force, a, a group that could go out be with our customers, take care of their needs, make sure that this is the device that they want, the, the nurses and the clinicians. And we, uh, we looked to partner with, uh, with uh, distribute large network uh, nationwide distributors, as well as we plan, we plan, plan to go to uh, trade shows, to conferences. We wanted to get this in the hand of the nurses so that they could see it and verify and validate that this is what they want. Well, we, so in order to do that, we went to the industry leader, Bard Access Systems, which is located in Salt Lake City. We've built, a very, very close relationship with the managers there, and we've told them about our idea, and they are excited at the prospect of using it. They've told us that we need to get 510K clearance, FDA clearance, as well as to, to get our, uh, our intellectual property finalized, and they are very interested in looking at the prospect of partnering with us and getting this product out to market. In summary, the Lightline catheter is the solution for catheter infections. It's this disruptive technology that we believe will be a game changer for how catheter infections are treated. It's, been taken, it's taken us three years to get to where we are. We've received over $20,000 in funding to keep this project moving forward. And we look to exploit an $11 billion pain point in a market that's always growing. And most importantly, we look to try to save hundreds of thousands of lives. Just like Jeff's. Jeff nearly died from his infection, and we never want to see that happen to anyone ever again. Together, we can stop these infections. And together, we can save billions of dollars and millions of lives. But we can't do it without your help. So join with us in making the Lightline catheter shine the way to a bright future. Thank you.